channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. <sighs> is it okay if I take my glasses off y'all? I think it is. So anyways, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to my channel, come here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but welcome to my channel. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. To my amazing supporters, thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching my videos. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all gotta help me out, okay? Y'all gotta help me grow my subscriber count, okay? I need to grow my subscriber counts, okay? I need to grow my YouTube channel. I also need to grow as an influencer, but I'm working on that. But y'all, y'all gotta work on helping to grow the channel, okay? Anyways, <laughs> so as y'all can tell, this is a get ready with me video, but I also wanted to share with y'all. I just thought about something, but it's cool. We gonna keep it going because I already we already in motion. So, um, but before we get into it, oh my God, I feel like I'm all over the place in this video, but it's totally fine. That's the thing I love about being a YouTuber. You don't gotta be perfect to do this. Like you don't, okay? You could just be you. You could just be yourself. Let people fall in love with the true authentic you and you could still be a YouTuber, okay? <laughs> Anyways, today is actually Martin Luther King Day. Happy MLK Day, salute to him. It's Monday, January 16th, and it's currently 1.40 p.m., y'all. So we gonna get straight into it. So if you like me, right? I'll be sitting there just thinking, just wondering, like, especially if something just keeps happening to you over and over and over and over again. And you like, dang, why me? Like me out of all people. Why? Why does this keep happening to me? Like, if you're like me, you've been through this. Like, I feel like it's natural for any human being to just be like, why does something keep happening to me? And that something could be like a bad relationship. Like, why I keep attracting the same dude? Why I keep attracting the same girl? We're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you exactly why. If you needed a sign, this is a sign, y'all. This is a sign. This is a sign, y'all. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I would be serious, I promise, but this is a sign for you. If you're wondering why something keeps happening to you, and why you keep going through the same thing again and again, I'm going to break it down for y'all in this video and hopefully y'all will eventually just stop for once and for all going through the same thing that y'all keep going through for once and for all the same thing just keep happening to y'all over and over again. So it could be like a bad relationship. It could be you going broke. Like maybe you're living from paycheck to paycheck and you're like, why? Like why every single week my paycheck is not enough to cover my bills, to cover my expenses, to just help me to live the life that I want to live? Like why? I'm about to tell y'all i'm gonna give y'all some more scenarios and then we're gonna get into why because i want y'all to relate to me in this video so maybe you keep getting played like maybe people keep taking advantage of you maybe you keep getting cheated on boy girl however it goes like maybe that just whatever it might be maybe you keep coming up short financially maybe you keep losing jobs like left and right and the explanation behind that there's a quote that says situations repeat until lessons are learned and I'm gonna say that one more time situations repeat until lessons are learned so something keeps happening to you over and over and over again because there's something that you need to learn that you are not getting it's kind of like in school y'all remember back 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 when you was in school right and somebody keeps staying back or they keep repeating a grade, right? They keep repeating a grade because they keep failing the class. They keep failing the test. They keep failing the lesson that they're supposed to learn. They're just not getting it. So whatever situation that you feel like continuously is repeating is something that you need to learn. But you got to take time, step back, analyze, figure out what it is that you need to learn and learn it, practice it, put it into practice. You get what I'm trying to say? That way certain things can stop happening. To you. So I'm gonna be very transparent in this uh, video. So for example, bad relationships. Like if you feel like you continuously ending up in bad relationships, like things is just not working out, 
it's probably because you keep doing something that keeps attracting a certain caliber of people that is not compatible with you that is not compatible for you you get what i'm trying to say if you want to attract a certain type of people there's certain places you gotta go there's a certain way you gotta dress there's a certain way that you gotta look you get what i'm trying to say if you're trying to be your wife you got to move how a wife move. You got to do things that a wife would do in order to become one. If you're trying to be a husband, you got to do things that a husband can do to become one. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's the same thing as far as relationships is concerned. Like if you want to be in a long lasting relationship, if you want to be in a happy relationship, there's something that you're not doing to make that relationship happy. Maybe you're not happy within yourself and maybe you need to take a step back, work on yourself, figure out what makes you happy not what makes somebody else happy be that do that do what makes you happy and then you can be in a happy relationship okay the next scenario that i was talking about is like going broke if you continuously going broke then you have a problem managing your money you're probably overspending you're probably biting off more than you could chew you trying to pay for sometimes it's not even just paying for designer because i've seen people that don't even wear designers and they're continuously going broke but maybe you're continuously eating out when you're not supposed to be eating out baby you need to be cooking at home okay like yeah let's talk about it but no for real like you probably continuously going broke because you have bad financial habits if you have bad financial habits if you have bad spending habits bad money management habits Go listen to someone like Dave Ramsey. Like he's teaching people how to develop good financial habits. Watch YouTube videos, develop, look for things that will help you to develop good financial habits. So again, that's why the same thing keeps happening to you over and over and over again, because there's something that you need to learn that you're not learning. There's something that you've probably learned, but you're not implementing it. You're not applying it. So the same thing keeps happening to you over and over and over again. But if you want that to stop happening to you over and over again, you got to analyze, you got to self assess and you got to figure out what it is that you're doing that is causing these things to continuously happen to you. Because as I told y'all in one of my videos, sometimes you could be the problem it just could be you know what i'm trying to say it could be the people that you're picking it could be the financial decisions that you're making while you keep ending up in the same spot if you're continuously getting played it's because you're allowing people to play you you're allowing people to play with you and y'all know lola brooks said don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it okay see she said don't play with it because she's not letting nobody play with her so you can't let nobody play with you either okay okay <laughs> anyways um but this is a good example this is where i said i wanted to be transparent if you feel like if you feel like you're continuously being taken advantage of y'all for years hmm. oh, for years y'all i was like super duper duper nice like i would never enforce my boundaries i would never set any boundaries or anything like that and people will continuously take advantage of me like just continuously they started feeling entitled they started feeling like i owe them something if i say no to them they start getting a little attitude like who is you to get an attitude because i said no uh, -uh. <laughs> okay but no for real i'm being for real for real y'all like I kept being taken advantage of by people left, right, all spectrum, all walks of life, okay? But that's because I was continuously being too nice. And when I realized, like, one person told me, like, it's your responsibilities to set boundaries and force them to say no. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, that was my responsibility. But I kept leaving it up to other people to say, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm not going to take advantage of her. I'm not going to use her. I'm not going, you get what I'm trying to say? ain't nobody gonna do that you gotta take responsibility and you have to set those boundaries so that's what i'm saying like people kept taking advantage of me because i wasn't getting it i wasn't learning the lesson like somebody literally had to sit me down talk to me and break down to me what it means to be taken advantage of what it means to be in a win-win situation versus being in a win-lose situation y'all once i learned that once i learned that it was over it was over that was it that was it like that was it boundaries they've been up and people some people don't like it you get what i'm trying to say some people it took them time to get used to that version of me where it's like dang if christina says no she mean it like some people i gotta tell them no like three four five times like 
yeah especially some of y'all <laughs> i ain't even trying to take it there but some of y'all business people on linkedin that be in my linkedin dms like trying to yeah y'all know what i'm talking about like i be having to tell y'all no like three four five times so that y'all could get that i really mean no you know what i'm saying so that lesson like of me continuously being taken advantage of it kept i mean that those situations kept happening to me over and over and over again because i wasn't getting the lesson that i it's okay to say no i wasn't getting the lesson of like it's okay to not let people take advantage of you. It's okay to be selfish and get your stuff together and just move how you want to move. You get what I'm trying to say? Because someone also told me, like, people gonna always move how they want to move, so you got to move how you want to move. You get what I'm trying to say? So lessons are always i mean situations will always repeat until the lesson is learned if you're not getting something it's going to keep happening just think about it like the concept behind this video is it's just like school a student keeps failing a class he keeps getting left behind in a certain grade or having to keep retake a class even in college if you don't pass a certain class and you need it in order to graduate you got to keep literally taking that class over and over and over again until you get it so things that you go through in life it's kind of like a class it's kind of like a test and you're gonna keep they're gonna keep coming your way again and again until you get whatever the lesson is that you are supposed to get so if you coming up short financially every single paycheck there's something you not doing right financially. Maybe you need to cut off a bill. You need to cut off something like live within your means so that you're not living paycheck to paycheck. Save up your money, put money aside or find a way to run it up to be able to live the way that you want to live financially. But overall things is just going to keep happening to you again and again and again and again and again and again until you get the lesson that you are supposed to get you won't keep going through the same thing again and again and again until you get the lesson that you are supposed to get now don't get it twisted every lesson don't happen overnight like some some things will happen years and years and years on end before you finally get the lesson and that's okay like we're human beings we have a whole long life to live so you're not gonna get everything like that overnight but if it's something that you feel like i'm sick and tired of this i'm sick and tired of this happening like i don't know about y'all but i've been sick and tired of being sick and tired i've been disgusted i've been like oh my god i'm so over this happening to me i've been to a place where i'm like i've had enough like enough is enough i cannot take this anymore and sometimes it like it takes you getting to that breaking point to get to that breakthrough y'all feel me like sometimes it takes you saying i'm tired i've had it i'm done to get to the next level to finally break through and be like okay what do i need to do and you will start looking for answers seeking all the help that you need to get past that situation that continuously happens to you that's what happened to me like i just completely had it with people taking advantage of me trying to argue with me because i said no because i'm not letting you have your way because i'm setting my boundaries and enforcing my boundaries you get what i'm trying to say and eventually i just had it with going through that again and again and eventually you know i sought the help i needed i talked to different people like yo can you help me out with this like i'm really struggling in this area of my life you could talk to a mentor you could talk to a therapist you could talk to a counselor you could talk to just different people and they will be willing to help you but you also have to want to be helped in the situation so that's why whatever it is that you're going through that's why you're going through what you're going through and the other key thing y'all somebody told me this like years ago let me think probably almost like eight not even eight honestly like 10 years ago um and i didn't like it when they told me but another reason why like you're going through what you're going through another reason why like a certain situation keep happening to you again and again and again is so that you can help somebody else some of the best people that can help you get through situations is people that have gone through those situations for years on end over and over and over again you know what i'm trying to say so the same way someone helped me a few different people helped me get past the struggle that i had of letting other people take advantage of me like 
some of those people went through those situations themselves. So because they successfully went through those situations, they learned the lesson that they needed to learn, they can help teach somebody else. So whatever it is that you're also going through, you will be able to help somebody else get through that situation in the future. You get what I'm trying to say? Sometimes it will be your kids that you're able to help. It will be a friend, a family member, or even a stranger on the street, a coworker. Like you can end up helping anybody and that is like I could say that's like a big like motivating factor for me when I'm going through challenges which is why like I'd be like okay you know what I'm not gonna give up because if I give up or you know what I'm trying to say like not if I give up or I quit then I won't be able to get through it have the victory and help somebody else get through it you know so I feel like anything that happens to you is not just for you but it's truly so that you can be able to help somebody else that's why I've been able to help you guys through my channel like some of y'all tell me like you're so motivating you're so inspiring even on a personal level people who don't watch my channel and I talk to them give them advice mentor them motivate them push them it's because of what I've been through and whatever I go through I use it to help somebody else like that's one of the things I love about like personal development reading books and things like that it's like books that's why books are powerful because like someone else is right in their story of what they went through to help other people get through that and it could save you years of trial and error just reading what someone else went through even like just like your parents they can teach you and help you to avoid certain mistakes in life because of the things that they've gone through so i would say that's like another reason why you're most likely going through what you're going through is so that you can help somebody else so that's pretty much all i have for y'all in this video i told <laughs> okay i'll be serious i told y'all this video is a sign okay if you keep going through something and you wondering why this is a sign like it's gonna be over soon okay <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being for real though. Like, it will be over soon. Just take time, analyze, learn what you need to learn, and that way you can also teach someone else and help them. So, I'm gonna roll the clip of me getting ready, and then I'm gonna show y'all my little outfit after. And that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all where I'm getting ready. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway, is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, better see with the negativity. But I just slide right by that energy. Uh, even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past all the pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do before uh, even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go,
y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed me getting ready. Um, I just threw on something like casual, comfortable, in the house, catch a vibe. Um, I don't really plan on leaving the house today again. So y'all gonna see another house fit. Um, uh, hold on, let me show y'all. Wow, who's that? <laughs> So I got this t-shirt on y'all, some jeans. I realized I haven't worn jeans in a long time. So I threw some on and y'all already know. Y'all already know the house slippers. <laughs> okay, and then of course, cause it's blue. I love mixing like blue with gold accessories. I just think it goes fire together. Okay, so I got my gold earring, simple gold necklace. Always got the watch and then these little bracelets. I also did my brows, as y'all can see, threw some lashes on, little mascara, did my edges, let my baby hair, and that's my fit. That's my fit. That's my fit, mm-hmm. That's my fit, yeah. That's my fit, what about it? <laughs> okay, y'all, so that's all I have for y'all. Put y'all back up here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, but stay motivated no matter what you're going through. Stay encouraged. If you feel discouraged, that discouragement will eventually pass. Just keep going no matter what and learn what you need to learn so you can stop going through what you're going through and hold that lesson in your back pocket and use it to teach somebody else in the future. So that's all I got for y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.